Hello and welcome back to the Great War Western Front Central Powers Campaign. I appreciate the comments I've been getting in there helping uh, sort me out a little bit. Hopefully I could start to do better than the last couple battles. And we have a tough one to start off. We are being attacked in uh, Chateau Thierry uh, by an overwhelming French force. They have six core versus my two core, it looks like. Um, so let's see if we can hold them off. So we have relatively little supply. We only had a total of 300 for this battle and we're gonna be facing much, much stronger French forces. I'm gonna connect these trenches and being my frontline trenches, I think some of these are worth upgrading, but that's a lot of supply. Um, yeah, I don't know if I wanna do that one. Can I undo that? I will leave it. And Hmm, I don't know if I want to really upgrade these or just build more trenches. I, th I feel like more trenches might be a better use of my resources. And I'm going to try to always have options for my troops to go to um, so that they're not stuck in just one trench. But we'll see if that's something we can actually hold on to. And of course, we do need artillery. And being on the defensive, machine guns are going to be invaluable. I've been placing them so far ahead of my trenches. Um, and it seems like, based on first uh, how the AI sets up, that it might be worth placing them behind as well. So I'm going to try to do that. Um, let's build a communication trench here so I can put it behind my lines. Um, with the main reason being that it is tough to see the uh, field of fire. The main reason being that um, when it's behind, it's a little protected from infantry getting too close. We are going to be stacked pretty thin here, uh, just given the supply that we have available. But I definitely wanted to get two of the uh, machine guns available. And we'll have the rest of the supply that we can call in. Once the battle starts, we don't have artillery at this point. Um, that's just, I'm just stretched too thin to have artillery, I think. I think that's the, uh, not really an option here. We'll see how this goes. I have zero intention of attacking, and we'll see if uh, we can hold off against these French assaults. Already getting messages that my supply is depleted. Um, let's get some of these reserve companies in. Uh, it'll take a minute for them to get to the front. but we'll definitely need them. I think I better call that one in, not actually to the trench. We'll see. And I'll throw one just in this uh, furthest trench back, because why not? Make sure these companies all actually end up in trenches and not sitting out in the open. Like these guys. Not sure where you guys are going. There we go, just kind of running around, jumping out of trenches. So our trenches are fairly full. There we go, there's the artillery fire. And I see two balloons that are up. If they attacked in one of my sectors that had planes, I could shoot down the balloons. But we are just waiting right now. Here we go. Here comes the first wave. And wow, that's a lot of them. I do have a machine gun nest. I'm going to move one of these companies over into another trench try to protect them a little bit and yeah first 
first attack, they're gonna hit my trenches. They're gonna get to it. They're taking a lot of casualties, but not enough. We're definitely gonna get overwhelmed here. So we had a few of their infantry surrender. Which is good. And let's see there. So they're in our trench system. Wonder if I can send over some others. Yeah, they already overran my machine guns. You know what? We're going to hold this, this trench, pull back a little. Um, I think these companies are too weak to push the rest of the way through. Huh? Maybe not. We'll see. We'll let them just come over the top at me. Yeah, they're going to push into this trench. So let's get another company going that way. And I'm going to move a reserve. One of my uh, central reserve companies over. And they're just coming straight through the back. Probably going at my... Uh, command point here I can't tell if this company is going to hold or not all right so there yeah we're going to hold that one and here comes another wave that is just as big I don't, ha I don't have any reserves at this point either. So uh, this one could be quick if we just get run off the field. The name of the game is going to be attrition here and making sure that they take at least as many casualties as we do. Hopefully many, many more. So we... We now have a couple uh, companies pretty well situated in these trenches that aren't in great shape, but they'll hold up a little bit. And I'd hope that this company being in a trench, having a chance to shoot at this advancing French company, can do enough damage and hold this trench for, eh, I don't know, that's going to be real tight. And uh, I'm going to try to shift some units over, but moving side to side here is not super effective. It takes a long time to get companies over. And in this trench combat, their morale is pretty weak. I think we can take this trench back. Yeah, we've got one of their companies down. And they're hammering me with artillery here. Let's see, I'm looking for more companies to call over. Yep, it's, they're attacking in good form here. Wave after wave of infantry supported by a ton of artillery. And I'm gonna get overrun. Uh, it's just hoping that I can make the casualties much worse for them than they are for me. And I don't want to completely abandon these trenches. Of course, they attack in the trenches I didn't upgrade. And yeah, we're completely suppressed by artillery here. Hopefully the artillery hits some of their own guys. But we're not about to, uh, we're about to lose Y and most likely more of the battlefield as well. We'll lose a star, but we'll save on casualties. I think we're gonna, ha they're gonna have more trouble with casualties than we will. And they're taking Y, but nothing we can do. 
there we go. They're running into a fully loaded trench. I imagine these guys won't last much longer. And we held this trench. So this is all my reserves. I, I don't have anyone left to throw at the fight. My other trenches are empty. And I don't want to lose that left flank completely. While I'm far from being in a good position, I'm going to make them come and take it because I can win on casualties here. If we can hold this to stalemate, that would be great because we're still in that middle range. Oh man, this is big assault. Again, just hoping to win the casualty battle here. And they are taking casualties. We've got a bunch of trenches that can fire out here. But again, we're suppressed by artillery. They're doing it well. And I think, trying to gauge casualties, we've turned back a couple of their companies. And yeah, they're suppressing with artillery just in time to keep my machine guns quiet. Because once they, machine guns start, I think I might be able to turn this. But I don't know if my machine guns are even going to get a chance to fire before they overrun me. There we go. We're at least taking out some of these other companies in the field here. That's one company turned around. And they're just hammering my machine gun nest with uh, grenades. So I'm wondering what happens if I, is it, do I lose a star if I lose my, when I lose my command point? Stay tuned and find out. And today's official release day for the game. I had it a couple days early access. The devs said that they uh, made a couple of tweaks that made um, AI artillery usage a bit more realistic. So I'll see how that goes. So far, it looks like they've been very effective with artillery. But not unrealistically so. They just had a massive advantage over me. And uh, I had to just deal with that. I don't think they had any crazy... Um, Advantages. Wow, great loss. So that's a star gone. I do get two, uh, 200 supplies. They've got a lot for overwhelming against all odds. I don't know if that's fair. Um, the casualties were in my favor. They had double the replenishment cost. So that's something, although they recovered some of that difference in uh, their battle honors. And that one's really going to hurt my uh, national will. I think we had a, was it a difference of nine between our loss and theirs. Oh, that was a plus 11 to their national will. So that's very unfortunate for me. So let's see, this one, we have a little better situation. It's five of our core versus, um, or five of their core versus two of ours. I'm going to maybe not upgrade trenches um, I'm not sure exactly how much difference that makes. I'm sure it makes some, makes them a little more resilient. But 30 points is a lot when you have as little supply as we do at 300. Some artillery would be nice, but again, having 300 supply, I don't know if I can support uh, artillery barrages. Maybe some light artillery just for suppression? That's the only idea I really have. So I'm going to uh, build another trench here so I can connect the network. And then X is out uh, right by these woods. 
It's kind of a weird spot. Can't build too much there. And then some communications trenches so that I can stay in cover. Because again, I anticipate some really heavy artillery. And the machine guns were effective when they weren't suppressed last time. Hmm. So this one's kind of open. I think I'm going to have a uh, second line trench here to fall back to when I inevitably fall back. And I'm going to put this gun pretty far back because I'm planning to be on defense here and I want it to be able to cover my positions. Now this is going to be weird. Where can I put my machine guns? Maybe right here? I think that'll give me a good firing arc. Um... Let's see. That'll cover right in front of my trenches. That kind of overlaps too much. Maybe I'll throw one here. That'll give me some good coverage. And let's see for Z. Said for you, those of you on the wrong side of the ocean. All right. So now I've only got 35 points for companies. And I feel like I am going to regret this. Because we are lean. So right away, I'm going to call in the rest of my meager infantry. And again, we'll see how long we can hold. I think I might be spending too many points on machine guns because they're a little fragile. Um, and I also bought artillery there. I, I don't know. Oh, that's right. Every barrage costs supply too. I definitely goofed. Just kind of spreading out my reinforcements here. And 15 gives me how many barrages? Two. Two barrages. That was definitely not worth it for those guns. I have made a tiny, huge mistake. Meanwhile, they've got enough supply they can spend 150 points on a balloon, which is half my entire supply. So I thought I would not repeat the same mistakes as last time, um, which I didn't. I just made different and likely larger mistakes. They've got to be coming soon. I don't know where they're going to come from. That, that forest in the middle is kind of a weird terrain feature. Didn't really have enough space to back up my defenses behind it um, because of that command point being so close. Here we go. Here's first wave. And if this looks big, I will drop some artillery. But if it doesn't, then I'm just going to let my other forces handle it. So it doesn't look like the river slows them down at all. And here comes a pretty big wave. Got some Belgian troops in. Yep, we're going to need a barrage here. Turn back a few of these companies and wow. Uh, they are throwing everybody at me here. I'm just going to get overwhelmed. Overwhelmed. 
I don't even know where to throw my reinforcements at this point. We're definitely losing that left flank. Um, I only have two companies over here. So I'm going to try to reinforce the center. Maybe hold this point? Because, yeah, I don't have anyone else I can hold or pull from this side. And calling in some artillery on this trench. These guys running through the open here. Hoping that weakens these companies enough that we can hold. One company down, it looks like. The next one's going to be a little tougher. I've got two companies in the trench against these this Belgian company that just hit me. Um, uh, that one's going to be close. We'll hold this one for now. There we go. That was a weak attack coming on Y. Let's get this company up to the front so we can get rifle support. And we are out of supply, so there is nothing else I can do. There are no reinforcements to call in. Everyone is here that's going to be here. Tried to reinforce the center a little bit so that maybe when they eventually swing that attack over, I could hold out for a little while. And... Here, I'm just hoping to cause some casualties before I go down. The special ability of the um, Belgians is that they are, it says unbreakable, um, which is a reduces all negative modifiers by 50%. I thought the, the ability of the Belgians is that they could stack with either the English or French without penalty. Maybe I'm wrong. So let's speed this up until we see the next attack. We're still winning slightly. Uh, that's going to change as soon as they uh, capture that point. I'm hoping the attacks stay scattered a little bit on the left side because we don't have any reinforcements to bring up. There we go, we held, and oh man, look at this. Hopefully they attack in a dumb way and let this back line keep firing. But they have so many of them, it doesn't even matter. It does not matter what I do. I'm so outnumbered. I'm about to lose everything. We are taking out some, you know, we actually held. It looks like we're holding okay. Let's pull out of this trench while we're getting bombarded. Let them uh, bombard themselves. And then counterattack into the other trench to avoid some artillery fire. Still not facing any attacks on the left. I just had a couple of scattered companies over there. So they're now working on taking my HQ, which I think, I think ends the battle. And I think we'll at least get rid of this French company. Yeah, we lost the HQ. And this one's tight. It looks like I can't tell which way it's going to go. But when these French reinforcements get here, we're going to lose this trench. 
So hopefully still with uh, a decent amount of casualties on their side. We are down to two companies left and a machine gun nest that can't see much. Hopefully we can turn around at least a few companies and just cause more casualties that will help us hold out. One thing I'm not doing very well is any sort of defense in depth. I feel like I don't have the points to set up like that, but maybe I need to forego artillery since that's so expensive and instead, uh, you know, have a second line of trenches to fall back to that can fire on their infantry when they're coming up to uh, assault my first line. That could make a big difference for me. And yeah, we just lost that trench. We're about to lose the whole battlefield. So it is possible to... Uh, just flat out overwhelm defenders with enough infantry. Um, that was a huge advantage they have of like six to two, not just a, you know, a, a three to two or four to two advantage. A route. I wonder if this will be better or worse than the uh, surrender we got last time. So not as bad. Again, we caused a lot of casualties, but they picked up some uh, uh, money there. Let's see how the world map looks. That's another star we lost on that point. A great loss. And it is still the allies' turn. Recruitment in action. All right. So we have a few new infantry corps which is good because we definitely need it. 1,000 gold, a research point. Let's see what we need for a research point. Field hospitals could be useful. Hmm, mortars could be useful. Logistics. Yeah, I'm going to need that. I have, I am blowing through money here. So I'm going to want uh, logistics. So what infantry do we have here? I wonder if I, it'll show me. Conscript Infantry Corps. So I think we definitely want to reinforce um, these. See, this is a regular infantry corps. Reinforce these points where I got attacked last time. Where's the other one? I think it was further north along the line. Here we go. Yeah, we'll bring in some fresher infantry. Two more core. We're done. I can't tell how reinforced they are there. Now, we do have a mission to uh, attack the Brits and the Belgians. So maybe I should continue my attack uh, up in this north part. Let's see. We could just keep building this stack in Lille. And let's see. More supply. We've got 900 supply. I think we've got some pretty solid um, defenses here. You've got good supply networks since we're already built up a little bit. Let's see. I could uh, build up the supply depot there to kind of protect. Um, or at least help me in the defense so I can deploy more things. And where was my other one? Yeah, let's build up this one as well since they're going to keep hitting that. I think having more supply plus more core will help me. I think in this episode, I get time for one attack. Let's uh, attack 
Let's see. Apra is... Uh, looks like they're decently dug in there. So let's attack Aras. And again, please forgive my inability to pronounce French. I know nothing of the language. All right. We've got 1,400 supply. Let's roll. All right, so here is my strategy. I'm going to push toward A. That's going to be my main objective here. And I've got a pretty advanced trench network built out over there with machine gun cover. Um, I've got some kind of fallback trenches here, mostly to hide reserves from their artillery. I have a light defense over on Z, but we can call in infantry close by if things get weird. Um, got some defenses built all the way back in front of Y too, in case they try to counterattack. And I have four artillery pieces. Um, and I believe I have aviation in this battle too, though I am not certain. So it looks like my, uh, Fighters are only capable of air superiority, which kind of makes sense. And they have a pretty dug-in network over here. I wonder if I can pop their balloons. That looks great out, but we'll see. This is more for uh, curiosity than expecting actual results. I'm going to try to drop their machine guns with heavy artillery. They're bringing up fresh troops. Yeah, I don't think uh, balloons are targets for their superiority mission. Interesting. Did my second one not fire? So I don't have more troops to call up at the moment. So let's get a uh, a small force ready. Just gathering some troops from my back lines that I can call up. Let's move these guys forward as well. I'm going to lead with conscripts because they're cheap. Easy to replace. Um, let's see. I thought I had someone way back here too. Yeah, let's, let's actually bring up some of these regulars. Get them ready. I've got enough supply. I can just... I'm going to try to keep plinking away at their balloons and machine guns. Maybe some light artillery here as well. Might as well use it. It's better for suppression. But probably won't hurt anything. To keep, well, hopefully it'll hurt something. Probably won't harm me if I keep using that to uh, target their balloons and artillery as well. So is that machine gun gone? Looks like it. Looks like we knocked out the machine gun. And maybe this light, yep, there goes their balloon. So we have a, a machine gun down, a balloon down. And my forces are gathering here. Let's see who I'm gonna send. I'm going to do a wave of conscripts first and then follow up with more regular infantry. First, let's get this machine gun down. And I think I'm going to do one more barrage of everything before I wait for that to refill. Once my artillery reloads, then I will call in a barrage of um, but once that barrage finishes, I'll wait for my artillery to reload, start moving my infantry forward.
All right, so that barrage is done. Just waiting for my heavy artillery to um, come back online. I think I'm going to hit these front two with heavy artillery, hit these back two with light artillery since they are almost dead already. Oh, let's, let's get out of here. So I did not realize we were in rifle range already. This one's on me. I thought we wouldn't be in rifle range yet. So let's... Yeah, my, my conscripts are running, which is not surprising. Let's just pull these guys back. So it also costs me less, um, I guess, damage to my score here when I pull back a conscript unit. Let's refill these trenches because we are going to need some more troops. We're a little vulnerable to a counterattack here. Yeah, so their their lines are weak on this left side here. Once I get the troops back in for another attack, then I think we can probably take it. Speed this up a little. And I don't really have a, a staging ground, I guess, in front of my trenches, which... I, you know, that makes sense. I think this will be enough. Let's look at what they actually have in the trenches. Yeah, they're beat up. So I'm going to order them all just forward and then start firing. And then hopefully by the time my troops get there, they're still suppressed. But I might have been a bit early on it. And that was a direct artillery hit on my formation. Not ideal. I'm going to order all of my companies into this first trench. And the Brits are doing what I did not do effectively in the last battle. And they have a second line that can fire on my front line. So what we need is, well, more. Trying to think of how many they sent in those waves against me in the previous battle. And they must have really just not had anything in reserve. I'm just going to keep planking these trenches while my forces are gathering. That heavy artillery is doing some damage. Oh, their, uh, their artillery found my staging area.
So I think I started my artillery a little too early last time. All right, and here is my force. And our goal is just to capture this first trench. Once they cross my front trench, I'll start the artillery. And then I'll hit this back trench with artillery too. And hopefully that'll keep them busy while I get to this trench. And I thought I had enough, but it might have been worth it to bring in some even more artillery than I did. Let's see if we can maybe keep surging forward and capture this next trench too. All right, so we've got two trenches here. And I bet if I call in some more artillery, I can capture these next two as well. to try to sneak through okay that makes sense actually how did we no we just uh ran across that works so we've got this trench taken out and these two should be able to take this british trench no problem I don't see that being too difficult. Since they're so beat up. So we've got point A. Now B might be a little harder because of how dug in that trench network is. I'm just going to try to hit this balloon. And with an basic attack across open ground, I hope we can turn this back. All right, we captured A. So now we can reinforce from this point too. Wondering what I can do to try to take B now. I want B. And I don't know how vulnerable it is to counterattack. If I take B, they can't hit me from this top right corner. It'll take away that reinforcement point. I think I'm going to send an already damaged conscript company and see if we can find out what kind of defenses they have. Sorry, guys. but I have no other form of recon. Trenches are empty. 
Nope, they're not empty. We just couldn't see what was in them. So what do we have? We've got a decent force here. So we got three companies I can put here. Oh, let's actually bring up this other conscript company as well. Let's bring up this regular company. And while I'm gathering, I'm just going to start hitting these trenches. Can't see what it, what's in them, but I know it's not people who are on my side. Don't have too long left and have a bunch of supply left. So I think I might as well try to use it. Anyone else? Yeah, I can I can bring another company of conscripts too. Yep, once this refills, I'll start the assault. Four batteries of artillery seems good, um, but it does feel like it limits maybe the pace of operations. Let's see, almost there. Let's put this on slow speed so I can try to time my assaults with artillery as well. The game does get a little kind of slow and choppy when you put it on different speeds. So let's put it back to regular now. If there's anybody in those trenches, they're not having a nice time. Hopefully we can get in these trenches and get protected from the rifle fire pretty quick. There we go, we've got a couple trenches. Um, there, let's get some light artillery firing on their reinforcements. And some heavies as soon as they're ready. We've got a lot of fire hitting them from this front side that they're trying to advance on us from. And I'm trying to call up regular infantry as quick as I can here to make sure I hold these trenches. Don't think there's really anything I can do with my light guns right now. I think I'm out of range of most of them. There we go, now we've got regular infantry coming up. So we'll start to refill these trenches. Get some more of our troops in and we're capturing B, which is great. I didn't think I'd be able to take two points in this battle. Oh, just out of range. There we go. Wonder what happens if I hit their heavy guns. I'd love to take out their artillery. I imagine that's worth something. Yeah, didn't do a ton of damage. But if I get close enough, I wonder what happens. Warten 
I think this attack went better than I expected. We accomplished that goal of taking out 10 British infantry companies. Um, three Belgian companies. It's going to happen the next time that we engage anyone. What? Was that just grenades from my side? I hope so. Yeah, looks like it. There we go. Yeah, that's 185 points for destroying heavy field artillery. Very nice. So the Central Powers do have a more varied unit roster. We didn't really get to see that in the demo from Steam Next Fest, but we've got uh, conscripts and veterans, which is cool. I think it's useful to have some different infantry types you can play with. Let's see. Light guns can't quite reach this trench line. So I think I'm going to stop there. Ends with current results. Yeah, no, no need to push. And I think we should see a, a decent amount of victory here. There we go. A major victory. Plus three, minus 13. We got some uh, Perseverance Medal. Got a Command Medal. And the losses were definitely on our side. We took out... Yeah, those, those Conscript Infantry are cheaper. I like it. I think that was a good result for us. So I'm going to call it there for this episode. Thanks again for watching. Hope you're enjoying the series. I've seen uh, some great comments. Keep them coming. And we'll be back to keep pushing back the Allied forces. Thanks and have a good one.